Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 33 years since the iconic TV series, Keeping Up Appearances 1990, graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of Keeping Up Appearances. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. Okay, let's explore together. In 1990, Josephine Tucson graced the screen with her portrayal of the character Elizabeth, a role she brought to life at the age of 59. It is with heavy hearts that we recall August 18th, 2022, when she sadly departed at the age of 91 in Denville Hall, Northwood, Hillington, London, England, following a battle with natural causes. <laughs> yes, I do. I really do. I don't know why. It never happens anywhere else. I have the pleasure. Oh, come on, darling. Come on. Judy Cornwell graced the screen as the character Daisy, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 50 during the 1990 filming. And now, at the age of 83, she resides in Hammersmith, London, England, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. Doing a very good job. Maybe he's in turmoil inside. Well, if he is, it's indigestion. Here or concept. So you have to have the talent to do that. And we, um, we would just take off. We would be given the situation, given the script. In 1990, Jeffrey Hughes graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Onslow, a role he brought to life at the age of 46. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on July 27, 2012, he left us due to prostate cancer at the age of 68 in the Isle of Wight, Hampshire, England. I like to keep an eye on the economy. A bloke in my position has to wonder how long the country can afford him. Second half, it's a complete role reversal, really, because the old chap is now long-term unemployed and the young chap is... Ma Clive Swift graced the screen as the character Richard, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 54 during the 1990 film it. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on February 1st, 2019, due to a short illness at the age of 82 in London, England. You hated it! No, I wouldn't say hated. I didn't say hated. <laughs> well, I hope I've now found something you approve of. I've totally forgotten that, I must say. That was a revelation this afternoon. Um, uh, and, and, all the, and, and Hitch just said, no, no, no. In 1990, Patricia Boutledge graced the screen with her portrayal of the character Hyacinth, a role she brought to life at the age of 61. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 94-year-old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Tranmere, Birkenhead, Cheshire, England. How do you spell bouquet? B-U-C-K-E-T. <laughs> B-U-C-K. Well, you learn more and more about the character of this woman and the depth of commitment mm. and the focus. And Mary Miller graced the screen as the character Rose, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 55 during the 1991 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on November 10th, 1998, she left us due to ovarian cancer at the age of 62 in Broccoli, London, England. You know, you're not interrupting anything, no. <laughs> I was just sitting here quietly reading my prayer book. <laughs> Jeremy Gittins graced the screen as the character Michael DeVicar, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 34 during the 1990 film. And now, at a youthful 67 years old, he now resides in Manchester, England, where he's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. Sheridan's progress at university. Oh, good. He's doing brilliantly well, you know. Ah. His tutors all forecast astonishing things. In 1991, David Griffin graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Emmett, a role he brought to life at the age of 48. And now, at the age of 80, he resides in Richmond, Surrey, England, 
basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. This evening to my little candlelight supper. Oh, thanks, but I, I was planning to... I'm looking forward to entertaining you. I mean, ordinarily I'd be only too... In 1990, Marion Barron graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, the vicar's wife, a role she brought to life at the age of 32. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 65-year-old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Nigeria. Your extended test will run for 70 minutes. During this, I'll ask you to complete a few manoeuvres which you should have covered with your instructor. In 1990, Shirley Stelfox graced a screen with her portrayal of the character Rose, a role she brought to life at the age of 49. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on December 7, 2015, she left us due to cancer at the age of 74 in Nottinghamshire, England. I wouldn't touch it with a six-foot pole. I wish I could find a six-foot pole. <laughs> sort of younger Lech Walenska. Try to value your dad's medals. I should have realized it's not you. What need? Anna Dawson graced the screen as the character Violet, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 58 during the 1995 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 86 year old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Bolton, Lancashire, England. How can you think of skiing when my life's in tatters? Not. Tatters, Violet. Not in an area with a postal... David Jansen graced a screen as the character Michael the Postman, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 42 during a 1992 filming. And now, at the age of 73, he resides in Clapham, London, England, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life, surrounded by family and cherished friends. I'd like to hear with you, Postman. Did, did, did you see that? I was about to deliver this in the ordinary... Share your favorite character from the TV series Keeping Up Appearances with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you, and see you all soon. See you all soon.